Morning, y'all. Christy here. Um, it's uh, day two of my journey to personal excellence. Um, it's 10-6-2022. I wanted to hop on really fast before I get my day started and um, tell y'all my accountability quote for today. It's um, by Colin O'Brady. It's not really a quote. It's more like some messages that I jotted down in my little journal um, from his book, The 12 Hour Walk. It's I'm listening to it um, on a, my Apple books. Um, so I don't really have the picture of it, but it's 12 Hour Walk by Colin O'Brady. And there's a couple of things that stood out to me right in the beginning. Um, the first thing um, he says is to ask yourself when you're trying to find out your path in life or what you're afraid of. He says to ask yourself, what's your Everest? So what is the one thing you're afraid of? And it could be as big as Mount Everest or as small as a little hill. And he says, that's what you ask yourself every time when you feel like something's holding you back, you ask what's your Everest. Um, another thing that stood out to me right in the beginning is he said, you are the stories that you tell yourself. So if you believe you can't do something, then you can't because you're telling yourself that story. You're the author of your life. So you can tell whatever story you want and you believe it. But if you tell yourself a story that you believe is not true, then you're never going to act upon it. It's always just going to be that a story. So he basically says you write your own story. So you can tell your story however you want. And then another point that he said um, is that you limit your own beliefs. So you, be, you put yourself in a box and you limit yourself to what's in that box, which I'm guilty of doing. I do that all the time. I lived my life in a box, and but I wanted to color, I wanted to go outside the box, but I was afraid. So I was limiting my own beliefs. And so that really resonated with me because I'm guilty of that. I'm guilty of that to this day. And I'm trying to change that, which is why I'm on this journey to personal excellence and this journey to um, become a one more thinker. And I know I have a purpose and I know what that is to help others who struggle with this, like me, keeping yourself in that box. And, but I can't, help them until I help me. So that is why I'm doing this, documenting this, because I'm showing that anybody can do it. It's never too late. You're never too old. You're never too young to hit the reset button. And one of the tools I'll share later about some of the stuff that I discovered, I took this um, assessment about myself and it's called the disc self the Dis Self and Motivators, and it tells it's a it's an assessment, and it deeps it's a a psychological assessment, and it tells you what your strengths, your weaknesses are, what your personality is, and it's really amazing. I'll, I'll read a couple things for you when I come back from an appointment, but I took it right here on Understand Me, and there's tons of them, and I'll be sharing some of those because it's. It allowed me to look inside and, and then it's allowing me to see my faults and what areas I'm strong in and what areas I'm weak in so that I can address those areas. And um, it, it was really eye opening as well. And it's very accurate. It's definitely me. So I'll share some of that with you later. Um, I got to run right now, but um, I want to end this by saying you're great. You can do it small steps like me one foot in front of the other and become a champion that's that's my phrase for my company become a champion because every one of us has that inside us and what are you going to do to unlock that champion all right have a blessed day